This triple screen monitor can transform more than anything from a Michael Bay film. Each screen can rotate from landscape to portrait. This might be the perfect device for programmers and writers being able to twist, turn, bend, and rotate more than the Galaxy Fold. This tri-screen monitor might even have some more tricks up its sleeves. Hello and welcome back, it's V, let's get started. This triple screen monitor was sent to me for review. These are my thoughts and only my thoughts, I was not paid to review this. This is a Dami Fan 15.6 inch laptop screen extender. It does have a better name than some of the other brands I've reviewed. This can be picked up off Amazon for around $300. It has dual 15.6 inch IPS panels, it has 120% of the sRGB color spectrum, 300 nits of brightness, 1920 by 1080 p resolution, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 60 hertz refresh. Basically, this translates to it's your average triple monitor setup. Inside the box is the triple monitor setup. Alongside that is the carrying case. This is pretty standard for these types of devices. I've seen this carrying case inside a few of these products. Besides that, you have the instructions, how you connect to everything. There are two Type-C to Type-C cables, two HDMI to Type-C cables. There is one kicks in inside of the box, which I do wish there were two. There's this plastic connector tube, which will connect everything together for the different modes. With my MacBook Pro, I just need the Type-C to Type-C cables. Some laptops might need a mix of both. It just depends on the manufacturer. I reviewed a few of these triple monitor setups, and this carrying case is pretty standard. It's made from a mix of ABS plastic. There's a pocket on the side to hold the cables or accessories, and it closes with Velcro. Everything on this device is snapped together with magnets. This device has a nice mix of like carbon fiber rubber and metal. Overall, the build quality is decent. It is on the better side. Some of the more budget ones can feel quite cheap. This has some weight behind it around 2300 grams. It weighs more than my 6 inch MacBook Pro at 2200 grams. There are two metal arms which will extend out to hold up the screens. When everything is closed, the magnets will keep everything in place. The magnets are fairly strong. I have yet to have them open up on me. The frame and skeleton is made from a mix of rubber and metal. It has a nice feel to it. One good thing I like about the setup is there's no actual weight on the laptop's hinge, so it fully supports itself. One issue with these types of devices is if there's too much weight on any laptop's hinge, it could potentially damage and break it. The kickstand fully supports everything. It's big and beefy. It can fully support itself. The magnets keep the screen closed, which is a smart idea. They are actually fairly strong. The metal frame can extend out about five or six inches it will fit any laptop from 12 inches up to 20 inches. The screens just snap onto the rails on the back side of each arm. Each one can rotate 90 degrees from landscape to portrait without having to do anything extra. The hinges are a little bit stiff while rotating but might loosen up over time. These screens in portrait mode are good for people who like to do a lot of typing, authors, programmers, you name it. Most triple screen subs don't offer this so it's easy to switch back and forth between landscape and portrait. On the back side of each screen, there is a power button and the volume rockers. There are also two Type-C ports for video out or charging. There is also a mini HDMI port next to them. Each monitor can offer pass-through charging for whatever device it's connected to, around 60 watts with Type-C. A device like this offers a little bit more, and it is kind of different compared to other products similar to this. This can be considered a modular device to a point. There is only one kickstand in the box. I do wish there were two, one for each screen. It's easy to snap it into place and adjust every individual screen. Each screen can be moved into about any room or pretty much anywhere. It doesn't have to be tethered to anything. Each screen can go either in portrait or landscape mode. In the instructions, the metal frame is supposed to hold up the other screen. Here, it doesn't really make much sense, especially with limited table space. A second kickstand would have been much better here. Like this is one small gripe I have with this. You have something easy and you overcomplicate it. So a second kickstand would have been really nice. Like the first one, this is the stack mode. You just have to add the tube to the back side, and then you have this. But finding the proper sweet spot where the screens do line up properly, it does take a minute. Each screen can rotate into portrait or landscape mode with the stack setup. This works for what it offers. A portable stack monitor is a game changer for anyone on the go. With any hybrid device, something always has to be sacrificed in order to achieve the proper form factor. This 
setup is more ideal for a programmer, someone who does a lot of heavy editing, who needs multiple windows, especially having both screens stacked on top of each other like this. Putting both screens back on the frame, rotating them up is called viewing mode. Some companies will call it temp mode or something similar to this. It allows two screens, one front and one back. It could be really good for sharing content with clients at the end of a desk, or two people could really want to watch the same movie at the same time. Or I mean, you could watch like the same movie on all three screens if that's your thing. Either way, both screens can rotate portrait or landscape mode. Personally, I will never use this myself, but it is there for people who might need it. Setup time is fairly quick. Nothing really has to be removed or adjusted for this. Breaking everything down is pretty easy and straightforward. I can get this done in under a minute. I have to pull both screens off the arms, snap them together, and then attach them to the frame. Everything attaches with magnets. They do have a good, strong magnetic seal. They're not the strongest, but firm overall. Just slide this into the bag, and the pocket holds the cables and accessories. This is easy to assemble. Setting everything up is about the same as breaking it all down. Pull out the tri-screen from the bag and open up the arms. You just have to pull the frame from the screens and slide everything onto the arms. Usually other triple screens will have rails, will sit on the laptop's display, so it's more of a one unified device. Here it is a little bit different. The metal kicks in, will hold all the weight for the displays. This could be more ideal. There isn't any weight on the laptop's hinge, so there's no possibility of it being broken. In the instructions, the metal frame of the screens are supposed to hold the laptop's display into place. I'm not sure if it's me, but metal on glass is never a good idea. I'm not really looking to scratch up my display. Because of the setup, this device does take up a little bit more table space compared to other devices. After everything is adjusted, for the right sweet spot. I just need to plug in both Type-C cables and that's it. On the back side of each screen has the USB-C ports with the on and off buttons. This can also charge any device around 60 watts with pass-through charging. I mean, this setup isn't perfect. I do find this one to be a little bit inferior compared to others I've reviewed. I always throw up screen comparisons with my MacBook Pro just to see how they look next to each other. It only gets up to about 300 nits of brightness. Colors look okay, they're not really the best. Colors do look a little bit washed out. Like the viewing angles here are decent. If I was able to give this a rating, it would be six out of 10. Like the viewing angles, brightness, the colors, it only gets up to about 300 nits of brightness. 400 would be perfect for me. The colors look washed out, they look mute. Just comparing this to my MacBook Pro, you can see a world of difference with color and contrast. For color accurate projects, I would rather stick to my laptop screen. I would not trust this for true color correction. Nothing will ever be as good as my laptop screen screen. That would almost be the gold standard here. For my line of work, I would not use them. Like here are some examples of graphic design, some photos right from my camera. You can see a big difference with contrast and color. The screens are quite a bit darker. They do lack color. I don't really like watching videos on this. The panels are only 60 hertz, so it's not really ideal for gaming. With the price point around $300, the panels are on the cheaper side for 15 inch screens. If I had to give the rating for like the panels with everything, I would give it 6 out of 10. They're not really good. They're usable, but there are better options. Each screen can rotate about 90 degrees from portrait to landscape mode. Most people might not need this, but those who do, it gives more available real estate, top to bottom versus left and right. It allows more information for text, for programmers, Excel sheets, Word documents, really anything more text-based. Most devices only offer a landscape and not really portrait style screens, so this is big. Plus, it is also portable. People can also create content with portrait style screens, like for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. But just be warned, the screens don't always look the best. You have screens meant for the proper aspect ratio, so this could be really good for those content creators. I'm not going to dive too deep into the speakers here. They do sound passable, but not really great. Each screen has its own individual speaker, and when both screens are connected, I can only select one at a time and not both. Maybe with Windows, I can have both play together, but with Mac OS, I can only have one or the other. My MacBook Pro has rich quad speakers and they sound amazing. The bass is non-existent and it just sounds really flat. If I had to give this a rating, maybe 3 out of 10. It's comparable to a Google Home Mini or Amazon Echo in terms of audio quality.
for the sake of not having a 30 minute video, this will work with every type of device. Windows works slightly better than Mac OS with organization or like the screens, but overall they work about the same. They're both plug and play devices, no issues with each one. Both of my iPads will work here also. My Mini 6, my M4 13 inch have plug and play options over USB-C, no complaints here. Any device which offers video out over USB-C will work with these screens. Every time I move the screens to a different mode, I have to manually adjust the rotation in the settings on my device, on my computer. It does get a little bit annoying doing this multiple times a day. Some other devices do offer auto rotate. I do wish there were two kickstands in the box instead of just one. It's easier to have both screens spread out on a table. When one screen is off, the other one will wobble because it's uneven. Flipping both of them around on the frame is called viewing mode, which could be good for presentations for clients in like an office setting. The one I like the best is a stack mode, putting both of the screens on top of each other for maximum real estate. I like this one the best because I can run multiple programs at the same time. Each one can also rotate to portrait mode, so if you're a freak, this might be for you. This device offers features and functions not really found anywhere else, so there's a certain type of person who could really take advantage of this. For myself, I never really use most of these modes. I do like the stack one, which will come in handy, so either way, heavy a device like this offers enough to be different and quite unique. This device is a mixed bag. It has some really good ideas and some bad ones. The normal rotating screens is excellent for people who might need that. For people who need to do like WordPress, programming, Excel sheets, because there's more available space top to bottom. Even multimedia people who do photo, video, or design work in portrait style screens could really take advantage of this. As a multimedia machine, it really fails hard here. The colors look really washed out and the speakers are quite flat. It has some good ideas, which are kind of gimmicky gimmicky to me. Multi-modes this has I find to be gimmicky and it offers too many compromises. There are standalone devices which can do what this offers much better. I've been testing out a 18.5 inch portable stack monitor setup for my own personal workflow and that works extremely well for me. I easily carry that with me wherever I go and this stays at home. Personally I feel as if this device is really for people who might need normal rotating screens for writing or just more available space top to bottom. This works really well for that. This has some really good ideas, but I think the execution could be better. This is more ideal for the keyboard warriors and not so much the multimedia specialists. So, I mean, this device is a toss up. You have a decent form factor, but you don't really have the best screens. So like always, it's V, stay classy.